Because this, this guy gave me the song. <laughs> so, and, and there's, there's this is a thing about about being raised in, in Western Canada, and and that is that there's a whole lot of history that hasn't been written, a whole lot of history that hasn't been sung, and uh, and so it sort of falls to us to put that stuff in song. And um, I'll do one or two here. I'll do yeah, I'll, I'll do this one because this is about men. And I worked down in the Crow's Nest Pass one summer, which is down in the, uh, way down south in the province of Alberta. There's a whole bunch of coal mining towns along there, Frank and Blairmore and uh, Sparwood. And if you ask anybody in Canada where uh, Canada's largest mining disaster happened, more often than not, they'll say Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, because of that song by, by Ewan McCall and Peggy Seeger. Great song, but Canada's largest mining disaster happened in a little town called Hillcrest, in my home province of Alberta, on the morning of June 19, 1914. 189 men and boys went down into the Hillcrest number two mine, and there was a, a buildup of uh, coal dust and, and uh, and methane, and that morning they exploded, and those 189 men and boys uh, were never heard from again. And I kept driving by this uh, this broken down old graveyard, and went in one day and started reading what remained of the headstones and stuff, because uh, all the miners were buried in these two mass graves. Um, and uh, uh, wrote this song in that graveyard, and then um, about two, two, three years ago, I got a call from the from um, the Regional uh, Historical Authority and the National Park Service. And, um, and they rebuilt the graveyard, rededicated it for the miners, and they asked me to come in and sing this song at the rededication ceremony. And so it's sunset in the Hillcrest Memorial Graveyard with an honor guard of RCMP. Irony was not lost. Um, and uh, the miners in there with their lamps, um, I sang this song and then they they uh, piped the miners through the, the graveyard and, and the name of every miner now along the, the rim of those two mass graves and a memorial to them. And like I said, I'd never heard any songs about the Hillcrest miners. As far as I know, this is the only the only tune that exists. About that. And, uh, and it's got a part that you can sing. Uh, you can sing the whole chorus, but the most important thing is I sing, uh, Say it on go, and you would sing, Say it on go. self-indulgent story. <laughs> years and years ago, I was on tour with a whole bunch of uh, uh, singer-songwriters uh, going across the country, uh, who shall all remain nameless for the purpose of this story, but uh, I was consistently on the, I was consistently the person who started out the evening, and uh, one evening there was sort of a, a meeting of us on the road, and uh, the, somebody said, why is James always going first, and the senior songwriter on the, the tour said, well, that's because his songs aren't all that relevant. <laughs> to the audience. And that night, faithfully that night, we were playing uh, just outside Pittsburgh, and, uh, and uh, there were uh, these women selling the CDs and stuff, and, and we all went up at the end of the show to collect our stuff, and, and I was standing right next to this person who had made that comment this day, and this woman who cashed out, cashing out my CDs um, sort of pushed the the box toward me and, and handed me the money, and she and uh, and I counted the money and I said, "You didn't take a percentage off the money, uh, off my sales." And she said, "No, I don't want to take it because of that song about the Hillcrest mine." And I said, "Why?" And she said, "I'm a miner."
Thank you.